All right, we're back again. Um, this should be the last video of this uh, this set, and what I'm going to do is show you how to uh, verify that your files are manufactured and how to view them. So the program we are going to prefer you to use is DFM Now, uh, version seven. Go ahead and open that. If you followed the initialization video on this before, you should already have the correct DFM settings in here. If not, I'll show you again in this video how to import those in. So the first thing you're going to do is import Gerber. And you're want to, going to want to need to go find your files. So the first thing is get to wherever you've saved your files at. Go to their projects folder. And then this one that I've been showing you guys is Power Supply 5. And since they're all out of order here, they're all uh, in order by name, let's uh, put them in order by type. And the first thing we're going to want to do is hit Shift and select all the art files. So that's bottom, outline, solder mask bottom, solder mask top, and top. Let's go ahead and hit open. And then when this window pops up, what you're going to want to do, uh, just make sure that these are correct. The bottom should be bottom, outline should be border, solder mask bottom should be mask bottom, solder mask top should be mask top. And then of course the top is the top. So hit next. So that has imported all my files in here. The next thing I want to do is import the drill. And it normally uh, hides all the other files for drill and only shows your drill file. You can go ahead and click open. And you're going to want to hit next. So now I can see all my drill holes and all my files. So the first thing I do is I go ahead and try to look through my board and make sure everything looks correct. I've got a plane here on the top, so that's why this is all filled in with pink. Um, I've got traces running this way and that way at different, uh, different value uh, widths and running to all my pads and stuff. I like to turn off the solder, oops, uh, the solder mask though and just look at maybe like the top and the, uh, the drill file and then maybe I'll turn off the top and look at the bottom and I had no traces running on the bottom so it's just the pads. Uh, solder mask is just make sure your solder mask layers are a little bit bigger than your, your pads and we'll turn uh, those off go back to the top and make sure those look good as well and they do you can zoom in and out using the scroll wheel whatever whatever makes you uh, more comfortable making sure that all your all your pads are done correctly and all your traces are ran correctly so when, once all that is done once you've checked everything and everything looks correct to you go ahead and come up here to DFM and like I said I'll show you how to do this again since uh, if you had, didn't do this originally you're going to need to get this file from uh, this Peralta Mill specs from the ESD blog and you'll click open and of course wherever you've saved it you'll go find it and then you'll click click on it and click open since I already have it I'm going to leave it in there um, and click uh, cancel and then I'm going to go come up here to DFM check and then make sure that my rule set is set correctly I want the Peralta Mill specs and I'm going to click next and I had no DFM or DRC violation errors. So now that this has been checked and it looks good on your end, you're going to want to bring this, uh, bring your computer to uh, a TA and prove to them that this can pass. So what we're going to do is we're going to verify that you're actually using the Peralta Mill specs and you haven't edited these values here and that uh, it actually does pass when we go ahead and run this. So once you've done that, you'll be able to, we'll sign you off and be able to uh, send your board files into uh, Peralta Mill. And when you do that, there's a submission process for that. Uh, you'll have to go to Peralta's uh, website and check out their submission process for that. All right. I hope you guys uh, enjoy making boards. Have a good one.